Hello and welcome. My name is Bradley Rigney and I'm a consultant here at Colme Group. Today's topic of discussion is going to be the basic versus enhanced permission setting in adaptive work. One of the most important system settings available in adaptive work is system setting 3.1, which controls your permission level. This is going to control who can view which records in your system. The two options available for the setting are basic and enhanced. Today we're going to be talking about what each one of those means and how it can affect the way your organization uses adaptive work. Starting with the basics, the default permission setting is the basic setting. This is going to allow any fully licensed user to view any project or record in the system. However, they will not be able to edit or make changes to these records unless they have a role. We'll talk more about those specific roles here in a minute. Now having this global view permission is going to allow your users to view anything in the system using the search feature. This creates what we call an open environment and may be the right choice for your organization if you have a smaller user base or if you want to promote collaboration and grant access to all the projects and work plans in your system. One thing to keep in mind though is the scalability of your permission structure. You might think basic permissions suit your needs with a smaller group of users, but would your permission and privacy needs evolve if another business unit or functional group is added into your environment? If so, it may be worthwhile to look at enhanced permissions. Enhanced permissions are effectively the opposite of the basic setting. Where viewership rights are implied with the basic setting, the viewership rights must be explicitly granted with enhanced. Any user that does not have a role or an explicit permission level applied to a project will not be able to view it. These permission levels can be applied manually on a record through system configuration or rolled down from a parent item. When granting these permissions, best practice is typically to grant the permissions to a user group or profile. There are two different permission access levels to keep in mind when discussing enhanced permissions, and that's going to be the viewer and the editor. Viewers can see the project or record, but cannot make changes, whereas an editor can see the record and make changes to it. Some roles automatically assign editor rights, so let's take a moment to talk about the different roles available. A role is a designation on work items that controls view and edit rights of the users assigned to the role. The roles available in adaptive work are project manager, owner, manager, resource, and reviewer. Project managers have editor rights to the project and all of its sub-items. They are also the only project role that can approve timesheets assuming system setting 13.13 .13 is enabled, whereas owners can be set at the project or individual work item level. For example, you could have separate owners of each task within a project. Those owners are going to have editor rights on the items that they have ownership of. If an owner isn't assigned, it will be the project manager by default. Managers will receive editor rights on their listed work items. The main benefit of this field is that you can add multiple users on this role rather than the one-to-one -one link on project manager and owner fields. Resources can view their assigned work items and perform limited actions such as updating their percent complete, adding collaboration items like a discussion post, and attaching files to their assigned work items. Reviewers are going to be restricted only to viewer rights. Another factor to keep in mind when discussing permissions is inherited permissions. These permissions are going to be set at a parent item like a portfolio, program, or parent project and cascade down to all projects and subprojects contained within. This can be useful if you have a few user groups that you know will always need to view any project in a particular portfolio, for instance. However, if you have a user group that only needs to view projects that are of a particular project type, it would be best to write a configuration that applies that permission based on that project type. There's no way to prevent these permissions from cascading down, so it's best practice to set broad permissions at a higher level and more specific permissions further down in the work item hierarchy. Now that we've discussed the high level differences between basic and enhanced permissions, let's recap what we discussed. Basic is going to be your default setting that will grant viewer rights to every record for every user. This is great if you need an open environment with the ability for others to view each other's work and promote collaboration. Enhanced permissions is going to lock down a record and only allow users to view or edit as defined by their role, 
unless you apply explicit permissions manually, through configuration, or through hierarchy inheritance. This is the best option if you want to only expose records that are relevant to the user's day-to-day -day functions and roles, or if you want to separate your environment between business units. As always, if you have any questions about your organization's permission settings, or if you'd like some assistance moving from basic to enhanced, please reach out to us here at Colmy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.